Content Aware Fill does pretty much what the name suggests. It will fill in parts of the image using other parts as a reference. Now we've seen this image before when we dealt with geometry in video 8. But what I've done here is take that geometry to the extreme and as you can see in correcting the verticals and horizontals it's given me a problem which is obvious to see. The one at the top is the perfect job for content aware fill. Now we need to give the software some guidance on what we want it to repair and to do that we use selections. I'm going to use the polygonal lasso tool here, it's pretty simple for the sort of shape we have. Clicking just outside the picture, I'll drag in, click, 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 click and join up at the start. We now need to go to our edit menu and we're going to select Content Aware Fill. Now as you can see the screen splits into two halves. We've got the area on the left where the repair is being drawn from. That's the green shaded area. And we've got the image on the right which is giving us a preview of the repair that's being done. Now without us doing anything at all the settings on the right are set to automatic. You can see we've got a perfect repair already. So here my motto is, if it ain't broke, let's not fix it. I'm going to go over to the right hand side and just take a brief look at how we're going to output the repair we can see above. We can take it out to the current layer and given the way it's done the repair that would seem to be a good choice but we do have others. We can have a completely new layer or we can duplicate the layer. If I go to new layer and I OK that, when it opens up and I'll lose that selection with Control D, you can see the repair is placed on a new layer. So it does give us the opportunity to have a much closer look and once we're happy with that of course we can flatten or merge these two layers together. But there we can see a very quick and easy repair done with Content Aware Fill. What about the base of the image? I'm going to select it, use the same tool as before, but here I can tell you in advance we're not going to get the same sort of repair because this area is far more tricky and I've tried quite a number of ways to get this to a satisfactory resolution and it's defeating me. I can get it close but it took quite a while. So the bottom part of this picture we'll probably see again when we look at AI Generative Fill. For now, let's move on to a different image. Here I want to remove the guy that's just in the top left corner. For this we can use the polygonal lasso or any other shape we want. We could use the rectangular marquee make sure that we've got this set to normal and I can click and drag go to edit content aware fill and we've got the auto button pressed over on the right hand side and you can see the repair we're getting which I think most of us could accept if I hit the rectangular button sometimes it improves the repair sometimes not personal choice but if we have any difficulty at any time, we can sometimes go to the custom. And you'll notice all of the areas that it's repairing from have been removed. So what it's doing here is inviting us to pick up the brush with a plus and to tell the software where we want the repair to be drawn from. Give it just a few seconds. Let me go down the edge because it seems to be showing that up a little bit too sharp and that looks better. So now I've got a repair that I've created manually but hasn't really improved on the auto and to be honest that's what I find most of the time. 95% of the time this works straight out of the box but it depends what sort of repair we're asking it to do. Here 
Let's pick one of those other options. Let's go to a duplicate layer and OK. Here we can see exactly what's happened. I'll hit again, Control D. But we've got the original sitting below if I turn that top layer off. And it's just given us exactly what it says, a layer copy. Here we have another image which has been through the geometry section of Adobe Camera Raw. But if I were to expand this picture up, the car is going to be far too close to the left corner. So what I'm going to do here is to see if Content-Aware Fill can get us out of trouble. Picking up the polygonal lasso tool, let's do down this edge. Normally I do this one section at a time, but I'm going to try two here. The one at the bottom and the one on the left, which are connected on the corner. Edit, Content Aware Fill. Now, straight away, at first glance, that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my new layer and click OK. Because when the image opens up and I remove the selection, it's going to give me a chance a little bit later on to have a much closer look at that. But let's try the next part, which is probably the most difficult, on the right. So I'm going to reselect the image. I'll pick up my rectangular marquee tool here. Just go over the edge a little bit. You can see how it works. Edit. Content Aware Fill. Now, once again, at first glance, it's very difficult to see the repair. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to leave the new layer and click OK. And of course, that leaves us just to do the top. I'll select the image, draw a selection along the top there, and we'll do the same again. Not sure what that is there. We'll just click OK because I think it's going to be fine and it is. I'll hit Control D. Now we could look around the edge to make sure there was no problems. And if there was, we could just give a touch of the healing brush. There's a little repetition down here and a little mark in the sky, which I don't care for much. So I'm just going to pick up my spot healing brush, adjust the size and I would give that a touch. Now I'm trying to do a repair here when all of these layers are separate. That's a bit of a mistake. So I should really merge all those layers together so that my repairs look a bit better and I could deal with that one and anything else that I felt needed to be dealt with. But there we've got a pretty good repair. There is a mark right in the middle of the screen. That happens to be the moon, but it looks so small it's got to go because it just looks like a mistake. But there you can see, once again, Content Aware Fill did a pretty good job there. Now let's try this example. Use any of the selection tools you're comfortable with. Polygonal Lasso is going to work fine here. Click, 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 click round the corner or round the bend. Up the outside, join up and then edit. Content Aware Fill. Pretty confident it's going to do a pretty near perfect job here. So I'll select OK and we can take a closer look. Now I could go on doing demonstrations all day, but we've got to draw this to a close at some stage. And there you see I missed a little bit of the edge. If that ever happens to you, go up to the top add this icon, which is add one selection to another, and you can do a quick repair. So as I was saying, we've got to bring this to an end at some stage, and I think probably we've reached that point because I think you've probably got the idea of how this works. Once we're happy with what I've got here, of course, I would need to make some choice, merge visible, or flatten the image to finish.